sitting on the couch. I'm trying to get motivated to get back up off the couch. I made a mistake of sitting down. It is probably one. What time is it? Yeah, it's coming up on one o'clock. Abby and I had her three week post op appointment this morning at the hospital, and then we went shopping. I'll show you what we got here in just a second. Everything went well at her post op. We were actually in and out with the doctor in 20 minutes. It just, we got there 20 minutes early because we anticipated having an hour of traffic and then it ended up only taking us 40 minutes. So we got extra time there, but everything is going great with her recovery. He said with the swelling, the first half of the swelling comes down really fast and then the other half goes really slow. So he said, you're in the other half. You're in the slow half of the swelling to come down. Um, but he said she looked great because he's seen her now every single week um, since surgery. And so he likes the progress. We added elastic back in and um, she now has a little diet like just I mean they're just brace elastic and they're easy to get to now that her mouth isn't so swollen and she can actually like manipulate a whole lot better I am going to eventually get motivated to get off this couch and make an appointment with her orthodontist because in I think he said we don't come back in for three weeks but in three weeks he is going to take the what do you call it the guard out and trying to think of the word that he has for that but he's taking it out of her mouth and he wants to make sure that the ortho appointment is within 24 hours of that coming out um, I'm likely gonna just do it on our way home hopefully they have an appointment on our way home from that appointment at the hospital just in case uh, the ortho needs to like put certain elastics in or they actually need to get well he's probably gonna take out the actual wire as well as the I forget I don't know why I'm blanking on the word <sighs> Anyway, it's the little retainer tray wire contraption that's in her mouth, um, basically holding it up, holding everything in place, letting it all heal and whatnot. So I'm going to get up and go and schedule that appointment as well. And um, I have a free afternoon a little bit because Chelsea's um, dentist appointment was canceled for today. She has just one cavity to fill before we take her in to get a braces consult next month. So that's why I'm kind of allowing myself to just stay here on the couch for a second because <laughs> it's kind of nice. I'm actually just enjoying the warm fire. I think Chelsea and Abby are the only ones awake. I think Ashley's still asleep. Yes, it's 1 p.m. <laughs> Kaylee's probably still asleep. I haven't seen any new dishes from when we left this morning, so I don't think that they have woken up. I've texted Ashley twice since we've been gone, and I haven't seen a single reply, nor has she replied to any of her friends who have been texting either. So, But Christmas break is for sleeping in. I wish I had been able to do so this morning. I actually woke up before my alarm. So I'm going to get up and get a few things done because we have Jason's Christmas party today. They are going to, well, he's going to work. I don't even know. I mean, actually should call him him and make sure that we're actually going to do this. I don't know if our employee is feeling better today. Um, and if we are going to have the party today, the other one is taking the day off to help her husband prepare the food. Nope. Call and leave a message and I'll get back to you. I'm actually going to call the store because I just don't want to like make the effort just in case. He just hasn't had a chance to tell me that we aren't having the party tonight. So see if they answer. Our marketing. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Uh, good. I got a customer, but what Okay. Are we still going? Are we still on for today? Still on, yep. St Cindy's? Close the store four. I gotta get a sign, but we've been busy. Okay, I will probably come up before that so I can avoid traffic. Oh, I thought you had the dental appointment. Uh, they canceled it. Oh, okay. Uh, it's next week now. Tablecloth? You bring in table. Well, somebody, Cindy's bringing a tablecloth now, so. Okay, I yeah, have some. Probably. I have some stuff, yeah. Okay. All right, well, cool. All right, I'll call you when I can head up your way. Okay, uh, there's, Samantha's not gonna get here till about, uh, 3.30, 4 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if I leave at 3, I probably won't get there until then anyway. So you don't I just, care until 4, yeah. Right. I just want to avoid flat 4 o'clock traffic. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Okay. And there you have it. So that's what we're doing this afternoon. I need to finish editing a video. I need to make that appointment. And then if I can get that stuff done really quick, I am going to go upstairs in my room, maybe snag Abby's space heater and warm up my room, at least my, my couch side, turn on another Christmas movie and we'll wrap the rest of the presents and get that done today just because I have time. Let me show you what I got um, with Abby. After we got done um, at the doctor, she's just feeling good and she likes to be out and about when she can and so we went to Marshall's and Target. Um, at Marshall's we needed a face wipe. Here, I'll just show you what we got. I guess I'm going to Target first. Meds for Kaylee and I got three things of Cool Whip. I got another bag package of these um, just hand wipes um, for the car. One just in general for sticky hands and two for Abby when she's with me and she's having something to eat in the car, which she had pumpkin pie. And, oh, where did she hide it? I'll show you. Well, you saw, we got crumbled. 
that might get Ashley up. <laughs> Thank you to Lydia for the crumble. I think you're falling, hang on. Sorry about that. My hair kinda got like just moisture curls. Anyway, um, thank you to Lydia for that gift card for Crumble. Abby was like, depending on the cookies that they have, I might be able to eat them. And they were all very, very soft cookies. And the doctor didn't mind like her eating the pumpkin pie. I told her she's starting to eat pumpkin pie and things that are kind of soft and we put it in her mouth and then she kind of swallows it down that way. And he was like, perfect, that's great. So another idea that I had for a fun Christmas dessert for either Christmas Eve, Christmas day, combination of the rest of the week or whatever. It's that viral, viral um, hack of cookie making. You take a box of cookies, I chose red velvet, kind of festive, and chocolate, but red velvet, cake mix, a tub of Cool Whip, and one egg. And then you roll them into balls, and then you roll that into powdered sugar, and you bake them for like 10 minutes. And they turn into these big, puffy, really soft, chewy, cake-like cookies, which is perfect. I just need something nice and soft, Abby, to eat. So I got the, rest, the ingredients for that. I'm actually gonna put the Cool Whip in the freezer. Today's Tuesday. I don't know. We'll put it in the fridge. Then I got some refill soap for bathrooms. And Abby did in fact love this. She said, can we get some more of that caramel chocolate dip? And I'm really not in the habit of saying no to her. So another reason why this bag happened. <laughs> we walked into Marshall's. She's getting another pair. But she saw these. They were $12, you guys. They were $12. So she tried them on and she's like, yeah, these are coming home from us, with us, but they're gonna get wrapped. So that's another stocking item. Um, I don't think I'll put these in the stocking. I got these face wipes. I wanted to get the coconut ones because they just smell so good. But these ones, it's like if you get 60 wipes for $4 or you get 120 wipes for $4. You just gotta think smarter, people. Just gotta think smarter. And take that one upstairs. So, we all have face wipes. And then along the same lines, tag right on the item like why not put it on this tag where it's not gonna leave a residue okay that one came off pretty good I'm kind of thinking of redoing my bathroom down here nothing like big nothing dramatic but I'm kind of annoyed with the cart that's in there and the mess that Ashley always makes so I need a way to like disguise the mess so I'm kind of liking this whole like black tone, black and glass. So when we were at Target, I got a black hand towel for the hand towel rack over in the, in the bathroom. We're gonna go black. And I might actually find a black cabinet to go on the wall and take out the little cart that's on the floor in there. Because I'm really getting sick of the mess um, and having it so vis visible. This is all actually crap for my car. Literally the rest of this bag, all the stuff that's been left in my car from every single cheer, practice, game, performance, competition. So all the rest of that is Ashley's. This is also Ashley's. This is Abby's last um, sister gift. So, so that stuff goes up to wrap and I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff away and then I'm gonna get some other stuff done. Gotta put this stuff away and part of the reason why I hate when the kids sleep in is that the chores don't get done and the two people that are asleep are the ones doing these dishes and unloading. But luckily Kaylee has unloaded. And so I just need Ashley to load and start it so that Kaylee can actually finish loading. With the amount of pumpkin pies we've been going through, I'm not gonna freeze these. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them in here. Use one for pumpkin pie and then Chelsea's been using it for hot cocoa as well. But then we're also, maybe tomorrow. I have a free day tomorrow and Thursday. So maybe we can actually make those cookies. So I'm gonna stick them here. Okay. I'm gonna go get some stuff done. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a real look. This is what the bathroom looks like. I've got my cute festive little towel here. Does it look festive? No. Do I have bathroom spray? Oh, I could have gotten another one of those. It's okay, there's still some in there. A lotion or a soap that doesn't match anything. There's no soap in that cute one, but that one looks cute for the holiday. Toothbrush, always sit there. Even though she has a spot for it over there with the toothpaste. 
These two are always on the counter. Only one of them works, and yet both of them are always on the counter. And here's hairspray, and there's no more, um, what do you call it? Uh, sh uh, dry shampoo. But this cart is, I'm done with it. I might use it in the craft room or whatever, but like, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm just gonna redecorate that as soon as I decide what to do with like all the rest of this. I'm gonna get a new cabinet here. I think it would be, it would look good if it was black. It would look good if it was black. If I really got um, motivated, I would change the ugly color in here and brighten the room up with even like a white. I think that would look really pretty and then put a black cabinet on the wall and got rid of that. Declutter that and put everything up into a cabinet. They're like 50 bucks, so I'm gonna look for a black one. I found a white one, but I want a black one now because I'm kind of liking this. But if I go black, I might need to like actually paint the walls. That's a January thing. That's a January project. We'll worry about that later, but that'll be really cute. Okay. Dressed, changed, did a little bit of makeup, a um, little bit more shadowing, I should say. Um, headed up to our store. It is an hour drive. <laughs> uh, it's an hour drive. But if I leave any later than this, it'll be like an hour and a half. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get there early or right on time or ready to help set them, set them up. Um, but this is kind of the quickest I can get out the door anyway. Um, so, got to enjoy lovely traffic. I was kind of hoping people were like heading out of town. <laughs> I know it's Tuesday before Christmas, but I was kind of hoping people were taking the week off, but they're not. So I've got a few things in the bag here. I've got some leftover ribbon and um, some just plastic tablecloths from my party. I don't know what they're doing for decorations on our table for dinner, but I thought I would bring those just in case. Not really a part of the planning of this, which is kind of nice. So you just kind of get to show up, but um, I have to fight traffic to get up there. I just didn't want to do it on a work night when Jason couldn't go with me, but tis what it is. Um, Ashley is at home making those crinkle cookies, the cake mix Cool Whip egg cookies. So hopefully that isn't a mess and normally I would have said no we just bought crumble cookies which I did tell her about but it gives her something to do <laughs> and it made her happy she was kind of annoyed that I was leaving and I wasn't going to entertain her but um, I got to fight traffic so I just wanted her to have something to do while I was gone so that she's not a problem for Abby and then Abby hopefully will be feeling good enough to drive for the first time since surgery um, she technically doesn't have any restrictions right now because she's not on any major medications. She's actually on hardly any medications. I didn't even say that. Um, she only takes the medication now when she feels the pain, which is not very often, which is absolutely amazing. Um, speaking of which, I might actually call my dad and give him that up, update while I drive. But she is feeling good enough to take Ashley to a church activity. And ironically, the night that I can get Chelsea to a church activity, um, she doesn't have any, <laughs> so just Ashley does. Um, but she really wants to go because she has cheer on Tuesday nights normally, and so she doesn't get to go. And they're having like a big snowball, fake snowball fight slash cookie decorating Christmas activity with everyone, the boys and the girls um, of all the ages, eight to 11. So she's really looking forward to going. So I'm gonna put the camera down, um, call my dad, and then we'll get to the store and have a Christmas party. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting hey. go Successful uh, company party company at our party at our store. No plug right there for anyone living in Washington. <laughs> Need a pair of shoes. Thank you, Nicole, for supporting our business last oh, week. Oh yeah, she's so fun. She came, she came in. She this came week. in this week. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Oh man. Our employee's husband, both of them made the meal and then the other one made a salad. 
to tell him what he made. I didn't get I don't pictures. even know. He had all these like fancy. He had ham. Ajou. What was aju? I don't even know. It's too the meat was, for me. I, I know. know the meat was excellent. They made mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, they had broccolini and mushrooms, which I'm not. I don't. I like mushrooms. Yeah, I have he it. likes some mushrooms. And then these uh, tiramisu dessert. Yeah. And then I didn't show you the dessert. Did you film any of it? I did some okay, of it, but good. we didn't have all the food out. She made a charcuterie board with lots of like snacks and homemade salmon dip and oh my gosh, it was just it was amazing. And homemade like cheese balls. Anyway, really, really good. Um, Tons of food to just kind of hang out and show them that we appreciate everything that they do for us. Um, and anyway, it was a good night. And now we have to rush home and be parents. <laughs> I, we're in separate cars. He's got his because he worked today, and I've got mine. I've got to go straight to the church to get Ashley and some other kids from an activity and he's gonna go home and check on Abby and Chelsea. Okay. Kaylee is at work, so. Okay. Love you. And we just keep being parents. <laughs> but I'm gonna end it with you guys tonight. Thank you for joining us um, on yet another Christmassy type crazy day as we get ready for the holiday. And tomorrow, I have nothing on tap. Literally nothing. I don't have to take anyone anywhere. I will try and get Ashley a play date, but I need to finish wrapping presents in my pajamas with a movie. That's what I plan to do whenever I wake up. So, <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Take care.